What came true in that message of listening to John Clay was this, that black America that has complained for years for being a slave to the white men in America should get a second thought. You want to hear something? Of all, of all the black people in the world that were subjugated to slavery, why is it that black America were the only group that were able to produce all the inventions in the United States and the world? Why? It was not the black people from the country where I came from, the Caribbean, Central America, or Africa, or Brazil. No, it was you. You know why? You should be glad that this man was responsible for enslaving us. You then, not me, because I was a victim too. The, I was a victim to this. The reason why black America is able to do what they have done, what you're doing still, is because Africa, Brazil, the Caribbean, Central America, grows a plant they call cassava. It contains cyanide. It eats up your brain. The people in Nigeria, before they go home, they pick it up at the gas station, call it gari. They add water to it and it is a starch mush that you eat with meat. This starch mush is so dangerous that if you give it to a hog, it would die, the milk at cassava would die, that hog would die in two minutes. When if a rattlesnake or a cobra bites a hog, he would wind up eating the snake. But if he drink the cassava juice, he is dead in two minutes. The Africans eat that for lunch and dinner. The Brazilians eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wait, one more thing I saw. Not only that it stunned the growth of thinking that you did not get, the other one is, there is no one on the planet that believes in voodoo more than a Brazilian, African, and a Haitian. No one else believes in voodoo more than the Caribbean along with the African, Haitian, and the Brazilian. Voodoo? Hey, you see that? Yeah, man. What was that? I mean, I don't know, but... Yeah. Then what I did informally, I decided to visit houses in Honduras and in Brazil and in Africa. What do you think of your neighbor? Oh, that, that woman, she's awful. I go to that woman and I ask her, what do you think of your neighbor? Oh, don't tell me about her. So everybody's suspicious, right? But neither of them could see or fathom that the very cassava that they eat three times a day is responsible for division. Not unity, division. You didn't get that. Yeah, but wait. But not, the brain is not as damaged as the brain from Africa, the Caribbean, and Central America. Because if the vision was on the level of Africa in America, think about this. Whenever a sister likes you, or you like a sister, do you have to ask her what tribe she's a member of? Go to Africa and do that one. If you're Yoruba, then Ibu Ben I'll talk to you. I'm a Yoruba, you understand? And I stand firm. I'm not going to compromise myself to an Ibu. And what about if I'm a Hausa from the north? Well, I'm a Muslim. I don't socialize with these pig-eating folks. Oh, no. But as a Muslim, you, you eat lamb, yeah. Well, you're worse than him. Because <laughs> that lamb has more germ than any pork. Has more fat than any pork. And if you go to the evil, oh no. I, I, I can't tolerate any, any Hausa or any Yoruba. So right there you see that three, three groups of people who should be loving each other for the benefit of the country can't do it. So we in America 
I was married to a woman in Louisiana. I didn't ask her what tribe she was a member of, or married Maryland. I didn't ask her what tribe she was a member of. But if you think that we are divided, you go to Africa. That is what I saw. The division that cassava brings, and that voodoo thing. When you go to Mongolia and you ask a Mongol about voodoo, he don't know what you're talking about. But you go to the Caribbean, you go to Africa, you go to Brazil. Voodoo is a dance. Cassava.